Yo what is up guys my name is Hacky and in this video we're going to take a look at the most useful vehicles you can use in heists in GTA Online. Heists are the best way of making money in this game so knowing the best vehicles to use in them so you can actually complete them is a must. Most of these are going to be armored vehicles excluding this first one. This first one is going to be kind of armored but not like the rest so we have the Virtue which is an Imani tech vehicle. You can actually get it for absolutely free by completing both the first dose and the last dose missions or you can just go and buy it for 3 million but I mean if you could get it for free you might as well. So as you can see it doesn't have any window plating or anything so it doesn't really have that bullet resistance but what it does have is Imani tech upgrades and extra armor upgrades which is extremely useful plus this thing is a very fast supercar which makes it one of the best Imani tech vehicles in the game if not the best one so this is an electric supercar which means its acceleration is crazy crazy. I mean, this is one of the most ridiculously fast accelerating vehicles we have. Driving this thing around, you're gonna notice this thing is super fast, like 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 miles per hour. It's actually ridiculous how good of a performing vehicle this is. So getting from point A to point B, the Virtue is a great vehicle for that since it's extremely fast. And with the Amani tech upgrades, no weaponized vehicle can lock onto you with homing missiles. I'm not sure if that stands for NPCs and heists as well, or just online players in a free roam session let me know in the comments if you know does Imani tech work against npcs and missions i want to say it does and with the extra armor upgrade you can also get it explosive resistant so it could then take a couple of explosives to actually blow up the vehicle and not just one it's a very safe vehicle to be in unless you get lasered from up close with like an assault rifle or something like that nonetheless easily one of the best vehicles you can use in heists at the end i'll link a video i made on how to get the virtue for absolute absolutely free if you don't have it yet and you want to get it for free watch till then for that so next up we have the night shark the night sharks a really good all-arounder vehicle unlike the virtue it also has bullet resistance as well with the window plating and that makes it harder for npcs and other players to shoot you through those windows with an ar or something and along with that it's got explosive resistance as well it could take about six rpgs total before it fully blows up which is a solid amount and it performs fantastically as well it's got great handling even better handling than the virtue the night shark rarely ever spins out much less than the virtue and for a pretty heavy and armored vehicle it's got great speed as well on the front of it it is equipped with a machine gun which is not extremely strong but i guess it's nice to have anyway and it's safe to say whenever you're going into battle versus a ton of npcs that have aimbot this vehicle is going to do a great job of protecting you and keeping you safe you can buy in the Warsaw Cash and Carry website for about 1.25 million dollars. Not a bad price, honestly. Next up, we have kind of a similar vehicle to the Night Shark, at least how I look at it. These two vehicles are pretty similar. We got the Armored Karuma. Now, the Armored Karuma is an iconic vehicle. It's been in the game for such a long time. It came out, I believe, with the original heist update way back in like 2014 or something. And this vehicle, to this day, is a great vehicle to buy specifically for beginners. The Armored Karuma is basically like a cheaper and a little less of a good version of the night shark and so if you're more on a budget you might want to get the armored karuma instead it doesn't have any explosive resistance but it does have the bullet resistance with the window plates and these two vehicles perform very similarly as well decently fast and some solid handling that's pretty much it it's got a trade price of 525,000, so very affordable or if you don't have the trade price unlocked you can just buy it now for just under 700,000. next up is the half track a very armored vehicle it's very good in some categories and less good in others let's start with the cons of it and then go into the pros after that so starting with the cons it is pretty freaking slow this vehicle is slow and doesn't perform very well overall really low top speed kind of acting like a tank basically as you can see on the side of the vehicle and it handles a little weird when turning as well so it's not ideal when it comes to performance but it does have some big pros that are definitely worth hearing so for for one thing, this vehicle is very armored and heavy. The half track can take 27 rockets, so it's extremely armored. And if an oppressor or a jet is chasing you, they're gonna need a good amount of time and a good amount of rockets to actually fully blow you up. Or actually, those are missiles, never mind. Missiles are a little less effective than RPG rockets, so it's gonna take a lot to blow up this vehicle. And you can probably notice the huge mounted gun on the back of the vehicle. I mean, that gun is an absolute 
absolute tank. It's extremely powerful. It can blow up any street vehicle within like two, three seconds. And so this vehicle is very good for if you have another friend, because then he could get on the back and you guys could just ride around Los Santos blowing everything up. It's technically a three seater if you count the mounted gun spot on the back of it. And so you can have two friends technically with you and both you and the passenger are going to be pretty protected with the window plating on this vehicle. The window plates cover a good amount of the windows. I mean, you can barely see if you go in first person. It's good this game isn't that realistic because, I mean, otherwise, you really can't see where you're driving with those window plates on. So, good explosive protection, good bullet resistance, and overall, a solid vehicle besides the fact it's pretty slow. You can buy it for a trade price of 1.7 million or buy it now of about 2.25 mil. A bit expensive if you ask me, but still a good vehicle. Then we have the Vigilante, which is a better version of the half track. It's much faster, obviously. I mean, it's got a giant rocket boost on the back of it, but naturally it's more expensive. It's the most expensive option we have on this list. So this is for the rich. The Vigilante is equipped with homing missiles and a machine gun on the front of it. Obviously the homing missiles are going to be a bit more useful and the tracking on those missiles are very good, much better than let's say on the Oppressor Mark II, which don't hit the target all that often. One of the best, if not the best tracking for homing missiles on any vehicle in the game. The rocket boost on the back also recharges relatively quickly for how strong it is. And speaking of strong, this vehicle as a whole is extremely strong, very heavy and powerful. Ramming streetcars out the way is pretty fun with it, and especially with the rocket boost running into other vehicles, I mean, they're gonna go flying. The Vigilante is so powerful that it can even push some big arena vehicles out the way. A fun activity you can try with friends is just testing which vehicle can push back which vehicle, let's say like the Vigilante versus the Cerberus or something. You might think the bigger vehicles would win easily, but I mean, the Vigilante can be a surprise. The big downside with it, as I briefly mentioned earlier, is the price of it. It's a hefty $3.75 million. I want to say top 10 most expensive vehicles in the whole game, but for a good reason. Next, we have a vehicle similar to the Virtue. It's another Imani Tech vehicle, another great Imani Tech vehicle, I should say. The Omni CGT is another electric one with crazy good acceleration. Not as ridiculous as the Virtue, but still very, very good. It's got the Imani Tech upgrades. It's got the extra armor upgrades. No window plating like some other vehicles, but it's still a very, very fast and safe vehicle to drive around, especially in missions and heists. You can buy it for about $1.8 million, which is pretty fair if you ask me. Then we have the Insurgent Pickup, which is similarly functioning like the Half Track, but it's much faster. Luckily, it's not extremely slow like the Half Track. So if you like vehicles with a mounted gun on the top of them, I would recommend the Insurgent Pickup a little more than the Half Track because the Half Track is really slow like that. The mounted gun is pretty powerful as well. And another thing that makes the Insurgent Pickup a little better than the Half Track is that it can seat up to nine people, including in the back of the vehicle. So this thing is actually pretty useful. It doesn't have the window plating, but it does have explosive resistance and other pros that we mentioned earlier. And the original buy it now price for it is about $1.8 million in the Warsaw Cash and Carry website. Or if you completed the Humane Labs heist, then that price lowers to $1.35 million. So solid price right there. Let me know if there's any vehicles that you think I missed. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new with the bell on so you don't miss any more awesome GTA videos. And click the video on screen now if you want to see how to get the virtue for absolutely free in GTA Online. I hope you all enjoy that video and peace.